So hello and welcome everyone and uh, here I have a very special guest with me Lakshmi Pavit Gayatri and uh, she got rank 427 in the recently uh, UPSC result of 2019 and it's a proud moment for uh, her, her family and for me also because uh, I have been uh, uh, associated with her from like last, last more than two years. And it's given me really a privileged moment to uh, like have a conversation with her and uh, share her journey with all of you. So with these words, I will uh, ask the simple question from Lakshmi, Gay uh, Lakshmi Bhavan Gayatri that uh, can you share your journey so far in the UPSC? How did uh, you started your background, little bit of your uh, education background, uh, family background, and I mean, just about yourself so that people can relate to you. Hi, sir. Uh, thank you for invite me, inviting me to, to this one. I'm honored and uh, thank you, sir, for supporting uh, in this last year, two years in this journey. So my name is, hi, guys. Uh, my name is Muktira Lakshmi Pavana Gayatri. Uh, I have secured 427 in this uh, civil service examination and my optional is political science and international relations and this will be, this is my fifth attempt. Uh, so first I want to say about myself, I have like I have studied uh, till 9 plus in Jagitya which is in uh, uh, Telangana and later uh, I, have, I have done completed my graduation B.Tech in IIT Karakpur, uh, uh, 2014 passed out in electronics. Then later, uh, I got board jobs. I, ha I had done internships in Samsung. Then later, uh, job I got job in Robert Bosch company. But I left the company. And my both parents are uh, government employees. And my brother is uh, also an IIT uh, Bombay graduate. So, uh, like, first of all, uh, it's in Karakpur uh, where I decided to give up the MNC jobs and to pursue civil services as careers because of uh, the discussion with my friends and uh, that cubicle job I got like uh, the internship in Samsung all this has made to have some meaningful uh, uh, meaningful thing in life like job is not just for the money but it's also uh, should give satisfaction of the life and it should be like greater aspect so for this one I uh, did not even join the job and I started my civil services preparation. And uh, since like I had like coming from pure technical background, I did not have any uh, any idea about the civil services thing. Uh, so it was so new to me, and uh, it took like so like having like what should be the method strategy and focus. What is the important things? What is the not important things? these failures each and each uh, failures has made me learn these things like uh, what should be the my next strategy like how should i reach my goal this is i know what my destination is but finding the correct path was a very tough journey for me and uh, initially i was not that focused i don't have uh, like i I did not like it was very very vague idea. Like I don't know the standard sources. Then after like I did not have proper strategy, and even the plans also. I used to be inconsistent. I used to not disciplined everything. Then after each like there are three uh, three failures in the prelims. I was missing only by two to three marks margin margin. So I thought like where where am I doing wrong? So I was studying. But the study, I am like not, uh, I'm studying. I am actually studying more than 12 hours each day. But it was not in proper direction. It's like my study is going in, uh, like I'm studying so many things. And it was not having a proper uh, destination point. Like revision is not there. Like uh, remembering those things or what like main score or something we should read. Glimpse or it was missing in my preparation. So in 2017, First thing, the major decision I took is to change my optional from electrical to political science. So coming from technical background, it became so much difficult for me to understand humanity subjects like political science, economy, all those things. So I thought uh, electric, uh, optional 
changing option will will be like uh, will bring a change and my uh, this step is very very right and political science uh, changing optional political to political science gave me a like very nice depth understanding and uh, if you understand anything and if you have interest in anything i think we will have like correct efforts like we will know then we will uh, be very careful to have proper strategy and uh, all these things uh, we will be there so after taking political science my 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 target is to complete uh, political science test series and like have notes and test series then after prelims focus and uh, that year uh, i even qualified for a prelims cut off also so that was my preparation because i was uh, uh, writing tests regular uh, rigorously and uh, revising the limited source and i am like uh, change like i am like uh, i know like what to choose like uh, for prelims we have to choose something like uh, these fa- not everything is relevant some facts mm. is relevant some facts is revel relevant so these thing you should mug up mug up mug up and you have to revise like anything mm, and from that and also you have to learn the game of uh, prelims examination like since it is in M- mcqs you should know that strategy because prelims requires one particular strategy when it comes to mains it's another in 2018 uh, i have since my focus is only on prelims uh, it was very wrong step i think i should have integrated but my focus was only on prelims and optional mm, however i missed mains again with 30 marks was very margin so i like i am i am having so much knowledge and i am missing the right strategy in each step so when in 2019 i decided that i my name will be in the list that i decided and it was very tough having four failures in my head and i don't want to do any like i don't have any backup because i'm not interested in anything else so all these was a uh, mentally struggle then i met sir during this stage and sir gave so much boost to me uh, during that stage like in january i met sir i was preparing but i, I met sir and sir gave like uh, you can do this one and uh, yeah so then then uh, my focus is i focus more on answer writing like answer writing from the beginning before prelims itself and my focus is on getting a uh, good very good marks in mains mains was my primary focus in 2019 attempt so for that one i made everything i made ready like notes for every topic and uh, i have developed good answer writing i was giving test series and all these things i was doing properly uh i did not feel i like i lacked anything in my preparation i know it's not top rank uh, preparation but i know i am satisfied uh, with this preparation because i know i will be in this list and uh, and another thing is i when i wrote this yes mains exam it is like very happy uh, it i wrote it is there is no much pressure in exam rather i enjoyed the questions and i enjoyed my answers to those things so i was even missing after mains i am missing even writing those <laughs> it was physically exhausted but mentally yeah. there is satisfaction of that mains exam and after exam i know i will be in that one but uh, the thing if for to get that confidence one should practice rigorously like i completed around uh, 300 to 400 pens i guess in this attempt like pens like one it was oh. like one pen each day which one pen each day oh, so i was so much. um uh, writing, writing so much wow and writing <laughs> exactly so uh, so i like i think like more you do work hard and more you strategize the confidence will be proportional like you know yeah i am in right path and uh, i was so mechanical also this time like how much uh, mentally uh, mentally it was thing i was doing my task like getting up 6 o'clock uh, it was like i was mechanical i was like robot only so i think this you have to be there and there is tremendous family support for me like it is huge it is huge and really facing this failures all these things like my brother my mother these two are very very like important role and then my best friends these two best friends they supported me like anything so the journey when i like obviously i will have downs a lot but the thing is you have to be coming uh, you have to be resilient uh, you have to be coming from those things and you should do the, like present you should have the work 
focus in your mind the tail leaves will be bag it should be in background noise you should there that should not be your main criteria while preparation okay so thank you thank you uh, lakshmi for sharing the journey and it it is really inspiring uh, so can you share how like what did what changes did you make in your prelims strategy because prelims is something where most of the people struggle ki you were not you did not qualify three time and you qualified fourth time so what did you change exactly the first thing is uh, giving test series and be like i was earlier i was so reluctant to give test series of prelims and but this time i have given every day and like i was getting very nice marks that boosted me my confidence and then later uh, revision is very important so for prelims uh, every t- like i revised around 10 times lakshmi kant and uh, so that level you have to revise revise this standard is also wow. and then after using some map for remembering like uh, even for history also you have to have some maps like where that uh, wars have fought them or like which which part uh, british was doing that time so and also for like uh, maps required for environment also and having very short crispy notes i made it for the prelims like so that in one page you can have like suppose i have constitutional bodies in one page and the non constitutional bodies in one page so this was like i was doing that one because having good notes also makes you were preparation easy because if, if you like cleverly arrange at one place you will know that yeah uh, like revision will be very easy and finishing those times also you won't feel exhausted and uh, i'm uh, seeing the mistakes like uh, you noticing where mistakes like after writing test series where you have to point like i have noted it down in one book and uh, i like i sh- i thought that i should not repeat this again so yeah so these things i changed and like yeah and then it became like easy to yeah, write yeah so means you you made revision notes and uh, you uh, worked on your mistakes and uh, there is one big question that uh, everyone faces is uh, how to cover the current affairs there is so much material for the current affairs some people say we should revise from the booklets compilation or monthly or there are mcqs and there are so many topics uh, how to really the, take care of the current affairs without struggling much yes, sir it was even problem uh, for me in these three first three attempts but later in fourth attempt i decided if you whatever you catch one magazine so you should stick to that magazine and revise revision is more important than to have many sources and i thought that even if question you know, does not come from these things and then i will leave that one but if question come from these things i will have to i have to properly answer so this was what i thought like even though you will sometimes even though you read from these many sources question will be outside of this uh, from material so for that one you should not think like something is out of you, which the things which are not in our control you should not think but if you have that sources have only one magazine i would suggest revise it thoroughly 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 and uh, you should even one question comes from that question that you should be answering properly so that okay. helps i think they, this is what uh, i think uh, proper yeah 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 I, i get it means uh, have the limited sources revise them again and again and do not worry about one or two question which will anyway come in, will be coming out of the exactly, exactly. any study any current affairs material mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. yeah great Uh, and can you share about your strategy for uh, gs3 paper and uh, how did you benefit uh, from the program uh, from my program in the gs paper 3 sir so, since i did not go to any coaching basic coaching like vajram or anything so i was not having any proper notes for uh, mains gs3 mains so that's why after prelims 2018 i came to you to have the proper notes and so you have given from the like very basic uh, you have taught lpg and you have given notes for each topic you have covered that one so this became my base uh, for uh, my mains preparation in 2018 and 19 also and whenever like for definitions i refer to your notes for statistics i refer to your notes and to answer like to 
what what is the what is there in the syllabus uh, i refer to your notes and even that sendai question also came in 2018 uh, when you have given in your notes so that thing uh, these things were in your notes so this became my major um, foundation for mains gs3 because it covered everything you even covered science and technology you even covered disaster management you even covered internal security so it's like all in one in one book um and then later in 2019 since i had this one of our foundation so i just added current affairs to about this uh, this notes uh and later, and for this gs3 strategy for i think i did not do much like i did not do much uh, for this one i just studied your notes and uh, i added current affairs materials from coaching and these two i did i think examples for these things later uh, i understood the questions properly that is major thing for ethics because uh, like gs2 gs3 they are factual based and there is like no two or three meanings for that one but whereas for ethics uh, ethics it's, it's like little subjective since it's like it looks somewhat like philosophical and those things you should need to understand case studies also properly so what they are asking what is the requirement as a civil servant to be ethical so these things plays very very important role uh, and for me i like i my personal notes for ethics is i think uh, my strategy i collect i refer newspapers i i refer google internet i took help of internet and i like and it was my favorite paper of all those all all papers because uh, i like really enjoyed writing answers for that one i used to give examples of abdul kalam also and gandhi ji wow. also where whenever uh, the answer required so in in this manner uh, i like i have i think i have written good ethics this time like i, I am waiting for the marks <laughs> okay good and what about the essay paper how much time and attention is required for the essay paper uh, and uh, what should be done for the content development uh, what should be done uh, for structure making how many essays uh, should be written before the mains examination uh, uh, it depends upon person uh, my strategy i think it's like uh, very few will follow because uh, essay like everyone i did not write essays so actually only one week before essay exam i started then i started uh, to write like a uh, one essay that to not in test series that to myself because in 2018 i got 142 one of the top marks in essay so i had that confidence because i i know i can assimilate and give examples i am i, I like i am good in philosophical uh, questions like this i know so the same strategy i followed for 2019 also Uh, so like having uh, examples like an and giving stories anecdotes in the beginning and uh, my uh, i was i was using every knowledge i had like i used psir ka knowledge uh, my optional ka knowledge and the gs2 ka wherever like means the point is you should know if, if you give an example it should be more relevant to that one like just giving examples is not good like uh, even like sometimes not giving examples is good better than giving wrong examples so this is the major thing in essay in essay you should use course you can use anything you want but it should be relevant to that one in one in one essay i used even used poem that is telugu poem i convert like translated into english one and you use that one because i found that it is very relevant to what i am going to answer so this um, if you can do all those things if you find means, very very relevant there so means it's content, like more creative side yeah yeah means content whatever content we have from the gs paper from our childhood from our optional paper that is sufficient no no need to work really upon the content but really uh, topic ko address karna hai we have to address the topic plus we have to give the relevant uh, example and relevant exactly. content huh. that is that huh. is what will make a difference because you have scored very good huh. marks 
so definitely this is one strategy which is uh, very much uh, uh, means uh, worthy okay thank you for sharing your uh, essay strategy now can you share what should be the basic strategy for the answer writing because there are so many test series then there are so many daily answer writing platforms and then there are certain platform which are also evaluating on a daily basis so what was your approach and what really worked for you uh, sir uh, i started answer writing only after 2018 qualifying prelims and i think your guidance helped me that answer like how to have proper introduction structure then like it was major value addition to me uh, in having like the diagram flow chart these things uh, is very important later i i continued even 2019 also also the same thing like having uh, quotations committees all these things these are relevant and uh, uh, means like i was practicing daily one question uh, in 2018 and 2019 i was writing around seven questions daily uh, wow. for answer writing for answer writing so uh, this uh, this played important role to secure the mains marks that i i think uh, mains uh, to qualify the mains i guess because i focused more on answer writing which is very very important i uh, sir you what you have said the timings also you said is how much time we should be. so like you said 2 to 3 uh, minutes first 1 to 2 minutes you should have some structure in structure for the answer like rough framework you should write in uh, question paper itself then you told her to add uh, committees recommend like you have given framework for uh, gs 1 2 3 4 so i noted on white uh, one uh, a uh, color sheet and i pasted on my wall so it is always in front of me so wow, this i did okay. in 2018 and i continued the same thing even in 2019 also and i am to have good notes and good for making content you know for having good quality content notes is required and for good notes uh, we can take help of internet newspaper and also source things this helps like all these things you can have like very good content great great so content um, structure yeah, yeah yeah and what about like uh, writing daily answer and then have attempting full test how much how many full test you attempted how did you maintain the balance between the two so daily is easy because uh, final like in may this daily will be helpful to write full test like means week one day day each like weekly one portion will be there so you have to divide that portion into weekdays so after like uh, doing weekdays around like seven seven questions daily one full test three hours question three hours question paper can be written at the weekend so yeah. in in between uh, yeah sir so i think uh, i uh, it is tough for me to balance here but uh, but yeah i have given around two two test series two test series of uh, mains and uh, two test series in optional so this is what i like i did uh, during the two okay days. wonderful means you did a lot of writing at your soul ki aap daily ek pen ko khatam kar <laughs> you used up one pen on a daily basis i mean this is something which i have uh, uh, experienced on listen for first time in my life कि आप कोई इतना भी लिख सकता है कि डेली एक टाइम मतलब आई ऑलवेज टू माय स्टूडेंट कि आप यू अटेम्प्ट फॉर क्वेश्चन डेली बेसिस बट माय राइटिंग सो मच आई मीन इट इज रियली मतलब लॉट ऑफ वर्क ऑन योर पार्ट प्लस आई नो दैट इट इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट थिंग मेहनत दैट हार्ड वर्क दैट यू हैव डन रियली रियली एक्नोलेज यू फॉर ऑल द हार्ड वर्क दैट यू हैव डन फॉर दैट ओके एंड Gayatri, what do you think? Uh, like, how this mains booster program can help where we are covering GS three, GS two, GS one, everything. So I think uh, this mains booster will help in quality. Quality you get and practicing is very very important in this answer writing. So I think it covers these two main aspects uh, of mains, like uh, having content and uh, practicing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, so. Uh, now we will move to the next uh, area that is the interview theek hai so 
I remember you were in touch with me and uh, uh, I recommended certain exercises to you. Do you remember? I think I recommended this mirror exercises and all that. Yes. yes. Did, you, did you really practice and did, did uh, yes. that help you? What, can you share like what exactly did you do? What did you do exactly? Because uh, many students will be watching this uh, and they want to also do the same exercise. Yes, sir. So in interview, you told to have questions prepared for each topic. and uh, ask those questions in front of mirror or ask someone to ask that questions to me and see my voice regulation in opposite of that mirror so what uh, this thing this helped me a lot to so much because uh, once i got this questions you said for a few days you take just to prepare questions so i did that one after preparing that questions then i asked i kept heading so is like uh, my background my ec or optional so i gave these questions to my brother i in my best friends so i asked them to ask me so when i am telling them i was in front of mirror i, I know how like they were asking me on whatsapp and i was uh, i am noticing my features on that mirror and slowly slowly i like in the, in the beginning i could not see myself in the mirror <laughs> i was hesitant to see myself in that mirror talking but it was slowly slowly dheere dheere so like in the end i was so comfortable with myself i i know like how to talk and my there is like proper gap between my communication so this thing yeah i did sir. like it will help me uh, a lot like to yeah, be comfortable yeah. in my own skin yeah yeah that is really wonderful i mean that is something which can make you yourself during the exam during the interview and how was your experience during the interview what type of question they asked uh the questions which were you are comfortable with uh, just question that comfortable the wo question bata sakte hain then uh, there there must be some questions where you were not comfortable so can you share something about that sir uh, luckily that whole day interview preparation was so positive for me i was so, so cheerful and happy and i don't know why but the in the from the morning itself i was like very happy content and i felt really positive uh, and as soon as my interview board uh, is said by bussy sir so like when as soon as i entered the board sir said oh, your name is too long uh, and th- then it made like little like comfortable then la- later sir asked me i was head of robotics in iit karakpur so sir asked me what is the snake robots like it was in my dad and then later he asked me i am in kuchpudi so why uh, did you discontinue kuchpudi dancing and then later they went to ask more on optional subjects like political science about israel so that day i did not feel any question difficult i was having that smooth it, it was more like conversation rather than question and answer format like um, i was telling my views i am telling like what i when i become ias i am telling Uh, what i was want to plan to do to the district and uh, they asked me what did you learn from the iit that you want to implement in the india so those things which i had already had ideas like many ideas i want to so it's like more like conversation and the it was like very nice conversation very positive everyone was happy like i felt happy i like i did not feel any nervous in the initial like one two minutes is there but later on as they asked questions i answered it like it became more conversation they also wanted to know what my views are this so one of the thing is women uh, they asked about women should we allow 50 percentage reservation for the women in politics so that they, that question they asked they and then they asked it nathan yasu and nathan yahu lost the election so what is the effect on that one then even the trump visit that time to india so mm. all these things like it was uh, i answered every question and i have given like proper answer like for netanyahu i said people's will should be there so it's not about how like people thought he might not uh, did not rule properly or he did not uh, uh, do the uh, like he might not be contributing to the good so he people thought that he is not he is not good so if they have elected other people and democracy people, uh, obviously power is with the people and people will elect so in this order i was using my optional knowledge and I'm, i answered uh, them what they asked okay and good i think they like it felt very good okay good good and uh, uh, we 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 also uh, we can discuss about one more thing that is the optional optional paper 
so you you are from the technical background you change your optional so uh, first of all that how how did you get to the depth of that uh, optional and secondly how did you ensure that you get the marks also uh so one thing uh, in 2018 i went into depth i think uh, i missed like i did one blunder mistake that is paper when i studied a lot and uh, i could not do time management so strategy was missing but in this attempt i focused i know that i have everything knowledge because i like read a lot lot like i covered standard books and the hebrew books i completed op gauba i completed i completed all the standard books i was uh, doing plenty of notes for the optional but the strategy part it came majorly after prelims like completing of prelims then uh, my strategy the time should be what should be the time taken how should i add scholars and how should i give like examples these things i developed after uh prelims only that to uh, like uh, daily i was writing uh, some questions on optional and uh, and i was practicing but i think i need more like uh, what i read and what i was doing it was there was some gap i think i need to uh, uh, still cover that gap uh, because i really like i really loved that subject and i read uh, too much like i too much for political philosophy or comparative politics uh these things and i like took uh, its market me that political science sources then i took the help of that one in uh, answer writing so answer writing these things i i did okay i mean great i mean you have done lot of work yourself also you have referred to the standard books and you have done the answer writing means you like means uh, there has to be uh, sustained preparation and keeping in mind all the areas great thank you very much thank you very much uh, and uh, yeah one thing ki what did you keep going on means you this is your first fifth attempt and it is not very easy to like spend five plus years and not getting the result so what is one thing that that kept you going on i i know i met you and you said that i am going I, i know that i can do it you, there is no doubt ki aapko pata tha but still results were not showing up so what did you say to yourself or what did you like what what was it that keep go, that which kept you going on during these yeah, so many years is, uh, huh, so one thing is the failure that i am facing is not because of upsc it's because of my preparation this i know one i know that if one's preparation is good anyone can crack it so until if the blame like if you know that you are doing the mistake then you have choice to uh, remedy that one you have you have choice to correct that one so i am correcting that one and next thing is um, i don't have any backup so that that thing i assured like i assured that i don't should not have any backup so uh, once if you don't have backup this will become <laughs> for you a world a world to you and if you are in this world then yeah but it is like risky what i did then but i don't have any other choice because i am not satisfied with uh, the mnc job or like any other aspect like any other career as as if i say and technical so technical also i left so uh, yes so this is so hot like do i it's like do a day situation for me <laughs> okay great what made me to great. push forward great so one thing i can see that you you knew your mistake ki mistake kahan par hai and uh, you know the gap ki ha mere andar gap hai isliye qualify nahi ho raha rather than blaming the upsc rather than looking the fault in ki kaisa kyun nahi ho raha you kept going on you uh, kept working on the gaps and ultimately result it showed up wonderful that's mm-hmm. a perfect strategy i think ठीक है थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग योर टाइम एंड शेयरिंग योर स्ट्रेटजी विद अस शेयरिंग योर जर्नी विद अस एंड शेयरिंग योर पर्सनल लाइफ विद अस इट इट इज रियली लाइक आई रियली एक्नॉलेज यू फॉर दैट एंड आई रियली फील प्रिविलेज टू हैव दिस कन्वर्सेशन विद यू आई पर्सनली एंड द टीम डायडेमी वी हैव वी विश यू वेरी गुड वेरी ब्राइट फ्यूचर एंड 
you you will excel in every area of your life because the attitude that you have it it, it is very very rare i know that many people qualify the exam they get top rank also but the attitude that you have will inspire many like thousands of people to keep going on in this examination and keep excelling and keep working on the gaps rather than looking into what is not working you you look into what is actually working and where i need to work upon really thank you very much thank you sir